Final chance to wager. Horses and drivers moving up to the gate. Eight of North America's best for the $300,000 Molson Pace. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Molson Pace Field, top of the stretch. Here they come. And they're off, and what a start here. It's an absolute firing line. Five of them in an all-out sprint of the first turn, and St. Elmo Hero got a bit bumpy gated, had to be grabbed up. From the outside and going to clear to the front, Eric Cash Hanover with an amazing gate move and he won the early sprint and he clears by two into the back stretch. Grabbing the pocket early at Tokyo, caught wide, razzle dazzle, he's trying to wedge into the three hole in front of St. Elmo Heroes, wrestled back, foiled again, was kept wide through a brisk 26 and three opening quarter. Then in the backfield, now racing third from last. Uh, that is, as they race into the turn, clear vision. Mockle Jackson's back there, and the trailer, Stonebridge Tonic. Field swings off the turn, and up top showing the way, Eric Cash Hanover. Razzle Dazzle could not find a seat. He's going to be forced into the long mile. He's first over and driving. Down on the inside, a Tokyo situated third. Setting it up second over with a half mile to go, foiled again. Then it's St. Elmo Hero. Third over as they race that lower turn, clear vision, Stonebridge Tonic inside, and the trailer, Michael Jackson, half and a reasonable 55 and 3 here for Eric Cash Hanover, leads to the back stretch. Razzle Dazzle is being raided out there in the first over spot, and he's right up now to look Eric Cash Hanover in the eye. Foiled again, look at the trip he's working out. Second over, and right up into the race now. Down on the inside, Atokia is caught in. Three quarters, 123 and 1. Razzle Dazzle parked every step. He's wrestled the lead at the top of the stretch, but he's got foiled again now in hot pursuit and coming on. Kicking three wide as the field turns into the home stretch. Here comes Clear Vision. They're a deep stretch now. Razzle Dazzle, foiled again. Clear Vision, three across to the wire. Foiled again. Foiled again appears to have done it. Looks for back-to-back -back Molson titles. Clear Vision right there in the win photo. 151-3. In the win photo, six foiled again. Has done it. Second, number two, clear vision. Third, number five, razzle dazzle. And fourth was three, a Tokyo. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in his career, you are looking at one of the greatest older pacers we've seen in the last couple of decades. Foiled again, first back-to-back -back Molson Pace champion since the early 90s when Brassard turned the trick and he had to earn it tonight. Foiled again equals his Molson Pace clocking from last year, 151 and three-fifths. The eight-year-old gelding, son of Dragon again, from the Arts Place Mare in a safe place, owned by Burke Racing, Weaver Bershemi, and the JJK Stables, Ron Burke Training, and Yannick Shingra back in the driver's seat 
for the victory. Now 3.8 million and counting as he inches towards the all-time earnings record for a pacer. Foiled again, ladies and gentlemen. How about a nice round of applause? A second consecutive Molson Pace title. Proud once again to have Molson as our sponsor of our signature event. And trackside, we'd like to welcome Ron Gabrielli and Ryan Stewart representing Molson. A wonderful partnership we've had with them as this race continues to grow in stature. Hugh Mitchell, our Chief Executive Officer here of the Western Fair Association trackside as well. Foiled again, eight years old, and who knows, we could see him back next year looking for the three-peat, showing no signs of slowing down whatsoever. Congratulations to the connections again, foiled again, the Molson Pace Champion, back-to-back -back titles, 151 and 3. Results are official and the price is posted. Foiled again, paid 410 for the victory. The X-Actor was worth 2260. The Tri-Actor paid $67.40. Superfecta $114.85. Coming up next is race 11. 11th race with a full field of 8 tonight and no program changes to report. Post time coming up in 12 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, stand by. We'll head trackside to hear from some of the winning connections. Thanks, Greg. I am here with two-time Molson Pace winner, Yannick Jingra. Two in a row. Are you planning on moving to the London, London area, maybe? Yeah, maybe. They, no, the, uh, this place treats me good. You know, they, uh, I like half-mile track. That's where I started out, and uh, it's always a pleasure to come back here. This horse seems to fit you like a glove. Tell us... How much does this horse mean to you? Well, first of all, he don't fit me like a glove. I fit, no, he, he fit, no, I, it's easy for me, you know what I mean? Like, he's a great, great horse, and anybody could do good with him, you know? He's a, he's a pleasure to drive. And, and like, um, you know, he, like, he's eight now, so uh, all those wins are even more special than they were because uh, I know that, no, the end is definitely closer than the start, um, but he shows up every week and uh, puts some, some big effort, like tonight, you know, parked every single step. Um, you know, not many horses can overcome that. You know, he's just a great horse. This another masterful masterful drive for you coming from an outside post especially is uh, not something you see every day take your uh, fans out here through the race through your eyes well I didn't think that was that good of a drive I got looped out of the gate so I wasn't really happy with that Doug got no got the jump on us off the gate so uh, he actually um, no he, he drove a good race you know what I mean but uh, it worked out you know John got parked and I got a nice second over behind him you know um, I know Razzle Dazzle is a good horse too he was gonna take me where I needed to go so I was pretty happy with that but out of, uh, I would rather be in Dougie's spot than, uh, than where I was. You've had a tremendous start to the year already. Top, tr top driver at the Meadowlands. What does winning this race mean to you over your course of your career? Oh, it means a lot, you know, especially because of, uh, you know, the, the relationship I have with the Burks. You know what I mean? They, they, uh, they've been so great to me, and, uh, you know, it's always a pleasure to drive for them. But Ronnie is the easiest guy to drive for. You know I mean? You can't get nobody better than him. And uh, for the horse, you know what I mean? Like, this horse is so, so special. Um, you now, to be able to be with him in the last four years and uh, you now put up the performance, you know, that he's, that he's done every week, and it's just um, definitely very special. Well, congratulations again. It's definitely a pleasure to speak with you once again in the Winner's Circle. I'm joined here in the Winner's Circle with assistant trainer Mickey Burke Jr. Foiled again, uh, defending champion, 151 and 3. I guess, how does it feel? First of all, I got to ask you, you had post 6, Eric Cash had post 7. How would you think the race was going to pan out? Pretty much what we did, the way it went out. We knew Eric Cash would go out there and just blast and had to do it from that position. Um, the guys talked about it and said that they were going to do what they could do, and uh, fortunately, you know, Razzle Dazzle got out there and was able to give us great cover to the head of the stretch. And then the other two were able to peel off him and come home and uh, can't be more than happy with the results. He's got 3.7 uh, in career earnings. And, and I got to ask you, any time a horse makes uh, that kind of money, it's something, something special. 
how does he do it week in and week out? Because he's certainly, he's certainly a grinder. It, it's all, it's his heart. I mean, he just, every time he shows up at the track, he's going and he's going to go forward and he'll do whatever he can, no matter what. Mm -hmm. You had him as a four-year-old, that's when he first got him and he developed into this, uh, this type of age pacer. When he first got him, did you ever dream of having a horse like this? Not to this level. I mean, when we trained him back and, and I, the times I trained him, you always knew he was a great horse, I mean, a good horse to train. I mean, it was always up in the bit, always wanting to go. I was training him back with a couple other good horses and they, you know, they were always good together. But for him to turn into this kind of horse, I mean, he's one of the best ever. Can has been good to the Burke stable lately. <laughs> it has. <laughs> We've enjoyed the trip. I just hope that the, uh, your commissions uh, get, don't do what they're talking about and the OLG and everything. I, I feel bad for what these guys are dealing with up here and having to listen to these decisions these guys are making without looking at the total impact that the business is going to take from this. Great to have you here and enjoy the evening and all the best uh, in this year's racing season. Thank you very much. There's Mickey Burke Jr. who gets the job done with Foiled again in this year's Molson Pace.